Okay. So let's do it. Okay. Okay, so take a moment to stretch up and settle in and focus for just a second on uh, physical relaxation into the posture. Okay, we're going to start by working in the fierce, sad system. So at any given instance, instant rather, there'll be exactly one of four states. Just fear, just sad, both or neither. We're going to ignore everything else. We're just going to penetrate that one system of uh, affective somesthesia. Does my way of talking make sense? Well, until the last two words, uh, I know what you meant. I know, I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> Greco-Roman <laughs> for emotional type body sensation. Thank you. I love it, though. I, I know. I'm so misthesia. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'd like you to note fear, sad, fear and sad, or none. One of those four. You want fear and sad or both? Uh, let's use fear and sad okay. with a Boolean uh, and, and, and operation. So we'll get the four po logically possible states of the fear sadness system. Okay. Uh, any questions about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Out loud? Uh, yeah, for okay. starters. Fear and sad. 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 Okay, good. Now go to mental labels, or thinking the labels rather than speaking them. Okay. Is it still mostly both at the same time? Yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to work just with the fear. Um, I'm assuming that there is a, one or more areas of local intensity for the fear, is that correct? Yes. Uh, is it one or are there several disconnected? Uh, there's probably one primary one that spreads out and has little branches to it, and then there's uh, a little bit of a journey to a secondary one for the most part. Okay. So the primary one spreads branches. How broadly? The primary one is right at the center of my chest, like right in between right. my rib cage. How broadly are the branches uh, um, spread through the body? It, it kind of comes down around to the side and in there, but it kind of spreads out a bit, like uh, like the core, the center is kind of there in a kind of big odd shape. And then there are ways in which I think it kind of reaches subtly, like subtle veins kind of going out uh, around to the middle of my back. Okay, well, excellent detection skill. I'm assuming that the subtler ramifications mm -hmm. are of less intensity. Absolutely. Okay. The, 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 here's, here's, this, yeah. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just work with fear. Okay. Each time you note sad, I would like you to zoom out to the subtle ramifications. Focus on them only. On Every time I note sad? I'm sorry, every time you, you note, note fear. fear. Okay. Go out to the subtle ramifications uh -huh. and work towards perfect equanimity with those subtle sensations. Because they're subtle, uh -huh. it may be possible to have complete openness with them, even though you can't do so with the local intensities. 
right. that are at the epicenter of it. Right. So we're going to use the zoom out option on the noting. Okay. And you're going to zoom out to cover the subtle spread mm -hmm. and work towards perfect equanimity with that. And don't concern yourself with the local splash at the center at all. Okay. Just with the global ripple in a rhythm with the mental labels of fear. All right. The word fear. Okay. Uh, any questions about that? No, you want me, I'll, I'll just uh, repeat it back. Yeah. I'm zooming out, I'm going to keep noting fear with mental labels, but I'm going to, when I note fear, zoom out to the subtler tributaries, so to speak, of the, uh, of the experience of fear in my body, not tuning into the big main Grand Central Station part of it. That's perfect. Okay. And um, yes, and by mental label, I mean think to the myself. Word fear okay. to indicate that that's the flavor. Okay. And then you zoom out. And then I'm just going to have you do that on your own for a few minutes. Okay. Able to do that pretty good? Um, yeah. Is there any hint of flow in the global spread of the fear? Oh, yeah. It's pretty fluid? Um, yeah, it flows. It, it, it's interesting. It, uh, when, when it, I tend to be flowy in general, but when I worked with this, it would, it, at first I got like little hits of nausea, like I started to feel a little nausea. Other flavors. Yeah, and then, and then um, a little ticklish, but if I just kind of kept with it, those would just, you know, if I just kind of just yes, stayed with the... dissipate. Yeah. So you're able to get the global component in the fear flavor to flow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can that flow spread into the local intensity? I, so that you get a local, global flow with the fear. You know, I think I started to naturally start to do that, and I think that's when the nausea started to... I, I think okay, my let's body... Go, just, let's go for local, global flow. Okay. Now. So that means, you'll remember that there's, in my standard formulation of the noting technique, you right. remember zoom in, zoom out, zoom right. both ways. So we're going to zoom both ways. Out to the perimeter, to mm -hmm. the weak sensations there. Right and ride the momentum of the flow that's there uh -huh. and simultaneously zoom into the core intensity uh -huh. and see if you can get them to get that local splash global ripple. While keeping the zooming, so simultaneously. Yeah, you're zooming in and okay. out okay. into the core, out to the perimeter, and you're doing that precisely to facilitate the spread of the global flow into the local intensity. So the awareness is moving in and in out. In and out at it. the same okay. time. It's Got it. Slide, you have a phrase that you came up with. That Sliding. <laughs> slide both ways. You're right, going right. to slide out with your awareness and let it facilitate a global circulation of fear. Right, right. And you're going to slide in and let that s a facilitate a local circulation of fear. Mm -hmm. So you get both the intense areas and the peripheral areas uh, as a single fear flow. Mm 